Today's question. This question was earlier given in UPSC CESAR 2023. So you can note down the concept number one. When a three digit number which is divided by its sum of the digits you need to get a least number which means here three positions I told you units place tens place hundreds place so x y z the hundreds place is the largest position among the units and tens and the remaining are smaller than the hundreds position so to get the least number as the result the concept is the numerator must be the smaller number and the denominator must be the larger number right so let's design the numerator is a smaller one from the numerator the digits are taken to get the denominator so you want to design in such a way the numerator is larger and the denominator is smaller let's do that so to get the smaller numerator the hundreds place tens place units place must be like this you can take the least value for the hundreds position and for the units and tens you can make the highest value right so how to obtain it so you all know that any single digit number start with 0 and end with 9 so what is the smallest single digit number 0 largest single digit number which is 9 so here least value means if you put 0 it will become a two digit number so it will not give you the three digit number you should not take 0 next least number to 0 is 1 so best to place 1 in the hundreds place what about the remaining tens and units place they must be the highest which is the highest single digit value highest single digit value is number 9 so let me take 9 and 9 for the tens and units place so no any condition given regarding the repetition so you can consider repetition is allowed right so 1 9 9 So the number is 199 and if it is divided by its sum of the digits 1 plus 9 plus 9 you will get 199 divided by 1 plus 9 plus 9 19. So what is the result you will obtain here is let's divide and check the value 199 divided by 19. One time 19 is 19 so 0 here 9 here 0 points. How many times? 4 times. 4 times 19 is going to be 76. So the remaining is 14 here. So next time 7 times 19 is 133. So this is just for your proof. Just for the proof. Okay. So the remaining we will be getting is 7. Let it be. So we can take the least value we got is why this proof is given to you. You can check with some other value to get the least value whether you will be able to get below 10.47 or not definitely you will not get that so this is a very good proof so what is the idea you want to use in examination the hundreds place value you can take it as the least and remaining two digits you can take it as the larger values so that you will get the answer which will give you the least value as the result right let's see answer for the previous videos question if today is Thursday, then which day is it exactly on the 11th power 7th day? So 11 power 7 divided by 7, what is the remainder you want to find? That is step 1. And step 2, exactly on, exactly on is given. Exactly on means day 1 is the given day. Okay, the 1 is the Thursday. Then you can find 2, 3, what is the value for the remainder based on that you can take the day right now let's do the calculation for 11 power 7 divided by 7 what is the remainder 11 power 7 divided by 7 what is the remainder so you can do the calculation like this 
So the idea is 11 divided by 7, the remainder we get 4. So this value will be equal to directly you substitute the remainder for the given value and base you can take it as 4. Power you want to take the same power divided by 7. What is the remainder? This is step 1. Then secondly, the step 2. In the step 2, you want to calculate what is 4 power 7 divided by 7 remainder going to be. For this case, as we have discussed in the previous video, 4 is the numerator, 7 is the denominator or divisor. Take the multiples of 7 and here take the powers of 4 because 4 is having powers. Okay, Few powers of 4 we can calculate and few multiples of 7 at any spot whether they are getting uh, the difference as 1 or minus 1. No doubt the difference between these two parts must be plus 1 or minus 1. This is the pattern actually. So let me take few multiples of 7. and few power values of 4. So here I have taken the multiples of 7. Here I have written the powers of 4. In these values, you can find any matching values. They must have the differences plus 1 or minus 1. Let's take 63 is the multiple of 7 and 64 is the power of 4. One of the power of 4 is and the difference between 63 and 64 is minus 1. Let's take these values. Hereafter, I want to write 4 power 7 in terms of 4 power 3. So that I will be getting the minus 1, 4 power 3 into 4 power 3 into 4 power 1. Suppose if you add all the powers, you will be getting power 7, 3 plus 3 plus 1, 7. So this is the idea you can get. So in the top, I can write in the bottom, I can write number 7. So what is 4 power 3? You all know that it is going to be 64 into 64 into 4 power 1 is 4 divided by 7. What is the remainder? While 7 divided by 64, the value we get is plus 1. So here also plus 1. Here you can take as it is 4. So 1 into this 4 into this 4, the remainder we got is 4 at this case. So remainder 4 means what is the meaning? Already we have seen that the given day is to be considered as day 1. Here the remainder we got is 4. Remainder 4 means find the 4th day. 1st day, Thursday. 2nd day, Friday. 3rd day, it is going to be Saturday. And 4th day, it is going to be Sunday. So the answer for this question is Sunday. Question for today. N is a three digit number such that the ratio of the number to the sum of its digit is greatest. What is the difference between the digit at the hundreds place and the digit at the units place of N? Your options are 1 or 2 or 3, 5 or 4 or 7, 6 or 8 or 9 or all of the above. You want to choose the correct answer based on the previous year question. This question is designed and given to you. And as usual, you can post your answer in the comment section. Meet you in the next section. Thanks for watching.